Hello, my name is Sebastian. I am the founder of Vision Tricks and we are developing augmented reality solutions. Our colleague Alexandru is an energy engineer and his job is to do the solar energy system maintenance work. And while analyzing his schedule, we notice that he's taking a lot of unnecessary trips all over the country because there simply aren't enough qualified technicians. You cannot clone the experts, but you can do the next best thing, and that is augmented reality. With the help of augmented reality, by simply putting a pair of AR glasses on your head, you have access to tutorials to solve any problem you need. Basically, you are becoming an expert in no time. What brought us together is the shared vision for the AR future. We all believe in the future, we love the technology and we are working together daily and very hard to make it happen as soon as possible. We want to bring AR into everybody's lives and uh, show them how beautiful this technology can be. The biggest challenge by far is innovating in a new industry. That means no past documentation, no actual support and a very limited pool of experienced developers available. That means that our teams spend a lot of time experimenting, testing and researching. But despite the challenges, we are making good progress and we are proud of it. At the very beginning of the startup, we had to send our presentation video to a possible client and we didn't meet the deadline. Now we can search for people to blame. Maybe the product wasn't developed in time. Maybe the filming crew didn't get to film in time. But uh, actually the conclusion we drew were that we weren't organized enough. And since then we are working very organized, we are having clear objectives within the team and it, this helped us a lot keeping our deadlines for the future. The most important KPI when we are talking about users is user satisfaction and adoption rate. I want to make sure that when anyone puts the AR glasses on together with our software, they will love it. And when we are talking about businesses, the most important thing we are focused on is cost reduction. We want to make sure that when a business uses our product, they will save money doing that. I am absolutely and utterly a believer in hard work. Hard work will beat smart work and it will beat talent. I can be the most talented tennis player in the world, but I don't play tennis. So whenever I step into the court against someone with no talent, but who is working daily and training daily, I will lose. And this applies the same in business. Also, there are people who are saying they are working smart enough and they only work for two hours a day because they are getting things done. Well, then try working 12 hours that day and you will get six times the things done. Learning through things always felt very rewarding and brings me a lot of joy. The way I see it, in order to achieve success or happiness or whatever you are working towards, you have got first to solve a big and complex puzzle. With every valuable piece of information I receive, I feel one piece closer to finishing my puzzle. So that's why I will always be eager to learn new things if possible. The book that I have read recently is Thinking in Bets by Annie Duke. Annie Duke says that there isn't one good decision to make. We always decide based on uncertainty. That's why sometimes we make the right decision and we still lose. The conclusion that Annie Duke has is that life really is like a poker game. We need to analyze our decisions and we need to learn how to bet. And the best way to bet is based on our beliefs. And also Annie Duke said something that I live by right now uh, in this book. She says that experience is not what happened to a man, but rather what a man does with what happened to him. Next for our startup is really understanding the client more in depth. I have a lot of joy in talking to possible clients across various sectors 
and I really love uh, identifying where we can upgrade and enhance their lives. And that's what we are focused on right now.